yeah, a little bit, a little bit down at the moment. Obviously, not the result we wanted to get tonight. Um, still excited. That was probably nothing I've ever experienced before out there tonight. So, yeah, it was, it was, it's mixed emotions at the moment. I'm obviously super happy that I got to go out there and play my first game and represent Collingwood. But at the same time, if we had got a win, I would be um, over the moon right now. So, yeah, it's amazing, especially someone who I've watched since I was a kid. Um, look up to him, role model, captain of the club to say. Top, those type of things about me is um, it's quite humbling, but yeah, the the game was I can't really remember much. It was a bit of a blur, but to go out there in the Collingwood crowd to be absolutely erratic when you run out, it was it was unreal. I, I back myself in. If I get caught, I'll, I'll cop it on the chin because it's going to be probably nine times out of ten where I don't get caught. And look, Colling, Collingwood as a club and us as a team, I think that's what we needed, and I I'm just going to bring it every week, hopefully. Yeah, I can't be too down on myself. It's my first game at AFL football, so there's obviously, I believe there's not, not a ceiling on what I can do this year. There's not a ceiling on anything this team can do, so we'll obviously reassess tonight. We'll look at things that we did wrong and things that we need to work on, but we'll approach Tuesday, Thursday once we review the game with a whole fresh attitude and we'll work on those little things. I suppose a bit surreal. Um, a lot of hard work over the years, you know, two years on the Swans list and um, then you get picked up by Collingwood. Um, to, to get down here and do the work that he's done and, get, and play that good game last week and then to get picked for this first game and to see him get his jump is just, that's unbelievable. What, what of all clubs, Collingwood? I hated Collingwood. But do you know what? It's actually OK now. <laughs> well, because he's playing and they've actually believed in him, which I think that's a really important thing because not that Swans didn't, but it was just so hard to get in there. And Derek's been unbelievable. He just saw something and I'm so grateful. We'll all be really, really grateful. Yeah, even as a little junior when, you know, only a little tackle was the same sort of thing. And, you know, I remember coming home from Broken Hill once, he just bawled his eyes out for about six hours and I couldn't believe it. But, you know, and he, he just kept knuckling down and I kept saying to him, it's always someone else's opinion. You know, if you believe that you can do it, well, you know, go ahead and do it. And that's what he's done. He's just uh, knuckled down under Darren Creswell there and then got picked up in, in the rookie draft. So two years ago and now he's sitting down here in the you know, the homeland of Melbourne so one day I went up to Derek Hine and I wondered why I said why did you pick why did you go after Sam and he said we've been following Sam for three years he said we had a look at him when he was at the Raiders but we didn't have the draft choices to pick him that year so you know it's a bit of a journey and, and thank God that this is there um, Derek's there and he's had faith in and um, giving Sam that opportunity. Yeah well they've rode the bumps with me for the for the four or five years that I've, I've probably been kicked in the guts a few times um, yeah, look, they've been my biggest supporters and my and my biggest role models across the time. So for us to share this moment, it's very special. And like most parents, they just want to see their kids do what they want to do. And for me, this is what I've wanted to do since I was a kid. Yeah, I think it's um, moulded me as a player. Those two years at Sydney taught me things that if you were there, you'd know. The, the club there is terrific and the structures and the, the people they have in place has moulded me as a footballer. So, um, yeah. It was, it was obviously hard to watch your mates play every weekend and to not get picked and stuff like that cut, but I believe I could make it and yeah, I got there today.